Hello and welcome back. In this video, what are you doing? Well, I'm just trying to record the intro for the oil change video. I'm well, on. yeah, I can see that, but you really want to start with hello and welcome back. Again. Well, I think it's pretty cool. Well, no, it's not really. I think you should drop it. Okay, how would you do it then? Well, for example, yo, oil change coming. Just watch it. Watch it. Now the bike's been warmed up, you're gonna need the oil, the filter I went for high flow, a uh, couple of sockets, a 14mm socket to get the foot peg off, uh, 17 to get the drain plug out and another 14mm to help you get off the foot peg so let's jump on it. Make sure you check the magnet every drain plug has got a magnet in it as you can see there or there just wipe it off check for any little metal particles generally you do get some little little particles of the clutch uh, and the gears so that's pretty much normal as you can see the engine oil is still dripping so let's get the filter out from the other side all right we're gonna take that off first make sure the exhaust is cold okay I already loosened it up a little bit take that nut off slide the bolt out there you go and this whole thing should just come out oh, that's it so you need a 5mm allen key and then just Loosen up. I might want to prepare some rags. Okay. So that's your oil filter cover. I'm gonna check the O-rings. I think I'm gonna have to change the outside one because there is a slight leak get the filter out the filter still might got some oil in it so just be careful and I usually just drop it in there make sure you remember which way is uh, facing outside because you don't want to put it put it the wrong way around there is an additional o-ring there just over there on that bolt yeah. So we're gonna swap that too. I'm gonna show you this is how it looks like. Okay, first things first. Put this o ring back. Small o ring over there. Oh, perfect fit. Back on. Filter. Remember. This side is facing outside, that goes inside. All the way in. Make sure they're still in there. Make sure you got both o-ring. So remember, the one with the big head goes on the bottom with this little bracket on to hold the cable away from the exhaust done 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 Put the bolt through holding both foot pegs so just make sure it's going through the other one as well if you're fixing a bike yourself like I do you might want to invest in a proper manual I've got both I've got the climber as well as the Hanes I prefer the climber I think it's a little bit better 
anyway it's probably a prefer uh, personal preference and then just get the engine drain plug it's just right there engine drain plug specification seems a bit high to me 43 newton meters but that's what the book says probably that's what it needs to be there's an aluminium crush washer on this one so we're gonna fit a new one on it and once the oil is drained uh, we can put it back torque it to spec and that's it torque range already set to 43 newton meters as the book says it's quite a big thread so seems a bit too much all right this is the oil i'm going to use today personal choice so whichever you like guys just use that or this i haven't used this before so i'm i'm not sure how is it gonna work but it should be okay it's got a lovely red color <laughs> i know i know it doesn't matter it's just okay so we filled it up roughly about three liters and you have a little side side glass down there just over there it was on full before but i already started it all you gotta do is fill up about three liters and then you just start it up basically prime the oil filter and uh, that's it really Give it a little bit of a rev and then that's it give it five ten minutes let the oil settle down and we're gonna check again the level which is oh it's actually there as you can see it's empty now but it's it's not really so don't worry about it we're gonna check it back in ten minutes there we go, 10 minutes is done. Let's have a look on the level. I hope you can see it, it's about three quarter. So we're gonna fill it up, top it up, and uh, that's it, you're done. So, last thing to do after the oil change is check if you got oil pressure or not. Because this bike hasn't got an oil pressure light only know your level light so what you gotta do according to the manual you open this bolt well not open it just loose it up a little bit until you see oil coming out and that's it but I prefer using the other one because uh, this is the inlet side so oil comes in here goes all the way in there oils everything what needs to be oiled and then this is the not, not outlet but they like the end point so I like to open this one instead of that one and uh, just see if they were coming out or not so let's check it out I already slightly loosened it up so it should be a little bit loose and you should see the oil coming out And it does. That's it. That's all you need to do. And then tighten it back up. Okay guys, there you have it. I hope I managed to help a couple of people out there who didn't know how to do this. Please leave a comment down below if I helped you out. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And put the bell on so you don't miss anything out which is coming. Thank you and I'll see you on the next one.